I first came a long way and my son was a baby in a pram and I was stopped in the street one day by a young girl who said to me, would you like to come to Claremont Church? She said, we have a young women's group, would you like to come along? And that was nearly 40 years ago and I'm still here. I've been in and out of different churches but not sort of committed. And this, my friend said, we've got a new minister at Claremont. She says, and why don't you come along and listen to him? And I did, I came along to an evening service and literally was blown away. And she introduced me to the minister after the service and I couldn't stop crying. And I just knew that this was a place, this is what I needed. So I've been coming ever since. I felt I live in this community and I wanted to be part of the church where I lived. And I've really loved coming here since the day I set foot in the door. It means a lot to me. Um, in times of trouble, um, you get a lot of support from the church and people are really willing to help you and um, just do things to care for you. The main area that I'm involved in is I coordinate the Café Clear, which meets on a Tuesday morning and that incorporates the food bank as well. We set up Café Clear, I had an idea just to set up a community cafe about four and a half years ago, uh, just to reach out to people in the community and get them to be involved more uh, in our church building to see what's going on and uh, we have a great team of helpers, uh, dedicated people come along every week. We're involved with the uh, schools, the uh, Befriender group in the schools send down pupils to help as well. Uh, we had only started about um, three or four weeks when we were approached to um, be a distribution point for the food bank and that just changed the dynamics of the whole cafe. We don't make a charge for the cafe at all, everything um, is free. Come along, have a cup of coffee, a tea. People donate home baking. Tesco, the local supermarket, they donate bread every week and other goodies from the bakery, which we give to the food bank users. And um, Anne makes homemade soup, which goes out as well to the food bank users. Uh, the heart behind Cafe Claire. It's, it's Jesus' heart, it's to be Jesus-led, it's to be with people where they are, um, whether that's just maybe to have a chat with them, it might be just to hold their hand or it might be to give them a hug, just whatever they're needing. Sometimes they just want to come and get a nice wee cup of tea and some home baking and other times they need help and support to get them out of their problems if they've got money worries or things like that. We're really blessed that Cafe Clear is an integral part of the church because it gives us the opportunity to show uh, Jesus' love in action um, and just help uh, in any way we can. The food bank is responsible for providing um, for the local area, which would be St Leonard's and Calderwood and we work with um, other churches in the town, so there is a provision throughout East Kilbride. One of the main things that um, I do in the church is we run the Christians Against Poverty course with lots of help from others too. It gives us the opportunity to speak to them about Jesus and we can feed them and just give them time to talk to us as well. I've been coming to the church for about 49 years now. I coordinate the focus groups in the church. We have 10 focus groups with about 85 members. Uh, the focus groups are like house groups. We discuss what's been said in the services. We discuss the questions he puts to us. Uh, it's a good chance to share what you feel about Christian faith, how you came to faith, experiences in trying to share your faith um, and we also get the chance then to look into the passages in a bit more detail and think about some of the issues arising from them and we have a good time. I love being a part of Clearman Church, it's just such a joy. I could encourage you to come along, you'll be made very very welcome, there's nothing to be worried about, you come as you are, wear what you like, people will be friendly and speak to you and hopefully you'll get quite a bit back from it.